Hello, this is Chi. Today, I'm going to talk about how to use different bow speed, pressure, and sounding points to make different dynamics. The first one, bow speed, is a very good tool to make different dynamics. I'm going to demonstrate using slow bow. To me, it sounds dense and direct. And um, I would say it's about mezzo piano or mezzo forte. So if you're looking for a color or dynamic range that's around here, then this is a very good way of creating the, the sound. And I'm going to demonstrate using a faster bow speed. So as you can hear, to me it sounds like it's very open, welcoming, and warm. So, and it's, it, to me it's about forte or fortissimo. So this is also very different from using a slow bow speed. So I hope this will help you deciding which bow speed you're using on different dynamics. The next one pressure. So I will be very, very careful about using pressure to create different dynamics. So when you want something that's louder or more direct, you could put a little press more pressure to your bow from your arm. So it could sound like this. Something that's softer, darker, you could lift a little bit of the weight and then use a little less hair. And it immediately sounds very different from putting a, a lot of pressure on. But be careful. When you put too much pressure, it could easily sound not pretty. So you want to find the right balance when you are using pressure for making dynamics. The next one, the sounding points. Sounding points is one of my favorite way to make different dynamics. It is very easy because you just simply make your contact points to a different spot. Then it creates a very different dynamics. So I'm going to demonstrate first just from the middle. That's about mezzo piano, mezzo forte, I would say. And if I do the same thing using the same pressure, using the same amount of hair, but I simply change my contact point to a really close to the fingerboard, then it sounds like this. So it, it is immediately much darker, softer, and um, a little airy. Now, if I change my contact point to closer to the bridge, using the same weight, from my arm and same amount of hair it sounds like as you can hear it's definitely like at least two dynamics up from the the one that i just did from up uh, that's very close to the fingerboard and i would say you can do mix and match for example when you're creating something that is very dark, very soft, I would combine using very light pressure and very close to the fingerboard and little less hair. And if you're looking for 
for something that's around forte, let's say, and very welcoming, then I would use medium pressure and around somewhere around the middle between the bridge and the fingerboard and use faster bow speed. <laughs> And if you're looking for something that sounds a little more aggressive, you can add a little more bow pressure and closer to the bridge. So I hope this video helped you and I'll see you next time. Thank you!